Hey guys, today I would like to share you how to fix your iPhone that related to software. For example, your phone is stuck on black screen, stuck on Apple logo, including like iTunes error, and sometimes your phone won't turn on, and it's stuck in recovery mode, boot loop, or sometimes it is frozen. I'm gonna show you how to fix all of that issues. But first, let's start with my iPhone. You can see it is stuck in recovery mode. Uh, sometimes you may accidentally put your phone in recovery mode and you don't know how to uh, get back to a normal mode all you have to do make sure you have the PC it can be Mac or it can be Windows depend on uh, the operation system that you have uh, for me I have Mac and then uh, I need to download a software called Unique Tool um, it is free with this feature you can go ahead and check from the link in my video description and then um, all you have to do make sure you go and click on this button and then uh, click on next and now you're gonna see uh, the green button called exit so all you have to do click on that button and then your phone will turn back to normal and this is uh, how you can fix uh, when your phone is stuck in recovery mode and now my phone turned back to normal but um, the common problem that you may encounter like uh, let's say you forgot your iPhone passcode and sometimes uh, your phone is stuck on Apple logo and you cannot do anything so we have another two options that you can uh, fix your phone. The first one is standard repair, which means that it is going to fix the problem on your iPhone without losing any data. And we have deep repair, deep repair, which means that if you want to remove the iPhone passcode, uh, you need to erase everything. So with this feature, it will erase all your photo, all your data on your iPhone. So you need to make sure that you keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna start with standard repair and show you how you fix your iPhone without losing any data. So now let me click on this button and now I'll click on next. And after that, uh, it is it will identify your device. Uh, for me, it is the iPhone 5 Global and the firmware version is um, either 10.3.4 or 10.3.3, .3, uh, depending on the one that you want to select it. But uh, usually, you need to select the latest one. So for the iPhone 5, uh, you can select 10.3.4 and then uh, click on link um, this is it will download uh, the firmware version just like that uh, you need to make sure that you have at least um, 4 or 5 gigabyte space of your Mac or your PC but uh, for this process I'm gonna import uh, the firmware version that I have already downloaded so I don't need to download uh, within the app so now uh, let me click on import local firmware and then uh, you need to make sure you find the firmware version for your phone uh, for me, I place it on my desktop, so this is the one that I need, click on open. Then we have another step uh, to make sure that uh, while you are doing this process, um, you are safe and your data will be safe. Uh, you need to follow some of these instructions. If you have the iPhone 8 and above, you can select on this one and then you can read uh, the instruction. Uh, for me, I have, like, um, I have the iPhone 5. Uh, which means that I need to use a physical home button so I need to hold on um, both like the home button including the power button and then I can release the power button but keep holding the home button so now uh, let me go ahead and um, try it until you see this pop up so until you see the, the iTunes pop up it means that your phone is in DFU mode now um, let's start repair and now um, it is in the repair process so all you have to do just wait for this to finish it may take a while Now it has been fixed, you can see it turned back to normal and if I go into my photo here, uh, you can see uh, they are all still there and let me check the version here, it will update to the latest one. So now uh, let me go to general and uh, about, so we have 10.3.4. Uh, 
the same for watching and for more detail you can go ahead and check from the link in my video description then we'll see you guys in the next one